Hello guys, this is Mauro from PrintInfoTech.com and this video I want to show you a quick tour of uh, Windows 10, build 10.122 and this build has quite a few changes since uh, 10.074 so uh, let's uh, dive into the uh, into the new changes. Like I always, I'm going to start with the start menu where we're going to see a lot of changes, a lot of tweaks that Microsoft has uh, made uh, on this build. And the, f and the first thing uh, users are going to notice is that now we have the uh, file explorer and settings actually on the uh, bottom of the uh, start menu, uh, right above the, uh, the power options. And you can see now we have the, uh, the new icons right there. And now another, um, another change that uh, uh, you guys are going to notice is that now we can have a third column of uh, like tiles. By default, you're going to see two, and the side of the uh, of the start menu will look like this. But you can actually move, uh, expand the uh, start menu to the right, and move. You you can drag and drop the uh, a group tile and move it to the right, and you can have a third uh, column. Now you're also going to see that uh, the um, the groups are now close very close to the uh, edge of the uh, start menu also and you'll see apps that they, uh, that they don't have um, an actual icon with colors it would actually take the uh, the background color but taken from the uh, windows uh, theme color as, as you can see let me show you here on all apps you'll see that on alarms and clock uh, calculator camera it actually happens that uh, it's pink as well so that one doesn't but let me see if I can find another one. Search also takes the uh, uh, the color the color background. The star menu, and you will see also that Cortana now has the uh, uh, back um, the dark theme, and now we have a feedback button, so you can send feedback to Microsoft about how the uh, the assistant works. And there is a new icon for for places. And that's about that's about it for Cortana. Everything continues the same. Oh, um, another change that you'll notice is that, uh, of course, you can move this up and up and down any way you like. And actual Cortana will take the same height of the uh, start menu. So that's a really nice addition. Uh, I noticed. I don't know if many people has noticed, but now the uh, the 3D flip. Uh, animation works better and that doesn't happen all the time that you'll see that flip but you'll see uh, quite often when there is a, a new update alright so um, let's move to the uh, oh another important change is that a Microsoft finally has removed the um, the full screen button that it goes uh, that it used to be right here uh, it, the uh, the option has been moved to the personalization settings that I'm gonna show you in a little bit Right, I'm going to show that in a second, uh, but now I'm going to show you how the uh, uh, tablet mode is progressing. As, uh, you will see that uh, tiles now get bigger, and now we don't have the uh, side menu part of the uh, start menu, but now we have a, a hamburger button right here that brings that up so we can have access to the most used apps and the uh, recent apps and file explorer settings power options and get access to all apps so this is really nice so it makes the uh, the start menu more like the starter screen and it's less uh, clutter alright so um, let me uh, let me show you, let me show you the um, the changes on the uh, on the settings apps so you can see the the, the new changes for the uh, how to uh, full screen the the uh, start menu. So now we can right click, and you also notice that uh, the menu now has a, a white background. We used to see it only on the uh, on the taskbar when we uh, uh, use the right uh, right click context menu. But now Microsoft uh, has um, added the uh, the same type of menu throughout the operating system. So we right click and go to personalize. And now we'll see that um, personalization has has uh, has a new section called Start, and here's where you can set your um, you can uh, send to full screen the start the start menu. This is not the um, 
in tablet mode, just to be clear. And we also have an option to store and display the recent open items in the start and on, on taskbar. So if we click that, we get the uh, full screen version of the uh, start menu, but it, it is not the tablet mode. So we click and uh, we disable that. And you're also going to see that uh, the pill switch has changed also. Now when, when it's on, you'll see a solid background, which is different from before. And we also can see that in the future we'll be able to customize uh, things that appear on the um, on the start menu. Like here it says like occasion occasionally show app and content suggestions on the start menu, the store and display recent open programs and star and show recent added uh, uh, app groups. And we can also be able to customize the list by by section right there. But that's not available right now. But that's coming in the future. Uh, now that we're on, on settings, uh, we can see on colors, you'll see that the animation has changed while loading all the colors that we can choose to change on the uh, on the operating system and nothing else has changed much on personalization. If we go up to actually uh, on main screen, we'll see that uh, as we've seen in leaked version of the operating system, now we have uh, uh, all the content center on the um, on, on the settings app and now the device uh, section also has a new a new icon now when we go to the uh, system uh, not a lot of changes uh, not a lot of changes we're gonna find here but there's uh, certain things that have been um, uh, moved around and but nothing nothing major is changed in system on devices Neither like there is nothing. Also, let me see in uh, network and internet. No, there is nothing either. We saw this in a previous bill, the data usage. But uh, as as you can see, as I moved as as, as I move between sections, you will see that um, uh, previously we used to have the icon of the section where we were in, but now we don't have anymore. We also, we only have uh, uh, the icon. Of the uh, settings page, if you click that it will take us to the uh, to the main section, and you'll see that now we have the back button on the on the top on the title bar right next to the um, uh, to, to to the title. So we go back and all right. Let me see how we can do this. All right. So um, on your accounts now we have a circular picture and we have two new icons nothing major everything stay the same stays the same time and languages there's nothing new there easy for access neither with this nothing and privacy I know there is a motion option that you can turn on and off there is some apps that I use and windows that use uh, motion data so this uh, you can check here on and off if you want the operating system and apps to access that data. On update and security, um, we have a new options when we go to the advanced options on Windows Update. And this is, is this one right here. It says uh, delay upgrades, not recommended. You can delay to, to upgrade to new build, that's what I assume. And at the bottom, like always, you can change the other uh, ring of updates that you have I always have it on fast because I want to know what's what's coming next all the time and Windows Defender we saw that was in here already and backup backup also we see now that we have a new option that it says uh, restore files from Windows 7 which actually it's only a link that will take us to the uh, all control panel because Microsoft uh, is including on this bill it's bringing back the uh, backup and restore uh, uh, tool that was uh, found on Windows 7. More than anything, that bringing it back is just to allow users uh, to recover data or restore data coming from Windows 7 to uh, to Windows 10. So this is just a, a way to offer some sort of a compatibility or a way for users to make it easier to bring their data from a previous operating system. But you can still uh, the, this works the same uh, works the same as in Windows 7 
and let's see, it's, it's gonna take a, a little bit. But, you know, you just you know connect uh, a USB drive or or connect a um, uh, network share, so you can make the backup like that. But more than anything, this is to restore more than make a backup. Microsoft now wants you to use file history and use a um, refresh or reset to reinstall the operating system. You can always uh, create a system image which that still is there and which pretty much is the same but it's like more like a uh, a clone of the uh, of, of the hard drive so if something fails you can restore everything on on a new hard drive on, on a new hard drive not on a different machine because it will not work like that. So we're gonna ex exit from here here too and now we're, um, now that I show you the control panel, I want to show you something interesting that's going on. As I showed you before, now we, we have the same uh, Y um, context uh, menu. And now you're going to see that the borders are being updated and the, um, the title bar, now it's white. Apparently Microsoft is doing some changes and, and I can't wait to see what's, what's the deal, what's, what's going to happen in here, how that's going to look. So we're gonna have to wait to uh, to new builds for that uh, to see the uh, uh, the changes. But be um, besides that, there is no many changes on the uh, file explorer uh, section uh, of the operating system. All right. So uh, now let's move to the um, to Microsoft Edge. Uh, Microsoft still calls it on this build project Spartan and. And there is quite a few updates. Um, let me see. Now we have a in in private uh, window that you can open, which, as you used it in different browsers and even in Internet Explorer, it's a it's a mode that uh, will not track your activities while while you're online. So that's a that's quite a good way to uh, uh, browse the web uh, without saving. Uh, tracking information on your computer or other types of uh, activities. So that's nice to see that coming to uh, Microsoft Edge. Uh, another thing uh, we have is now we can pin the um, web pages to start. On I'm using Windows 10 on a, vir on a virtual machine and apparently this doesn't work for me when I click uh, pin that to start. I don't see anything pinned to start. So I mean everything is is under under development so I'm not I don't feel bad that doesn't work but I hope that works when actual when when Windows 10 actually releases. <clears throat> on on settings. So now we have quite a few options on settings. And now we you might have heard that now we have a new tab window so now uh, I'm gonna show that in a second but here's where you're going to change what do you like to see when you open a new tab you can see by default stop sites and, and suggested content and top sites or a blank page now if we uh, scroll down we're going to see that now we have the ability to uh, enable or disable uh, Cortana on on purchase partner on the on the browser, no no globally on the operating system. Uh, we uh, we had that before, but we were unable to turn it off. But now we can do that. Um, this version, I know. Let me see. If, okay, now uh, you, now we have on this version of uh, Microsoft Edge, we can actually uh, say password when we go to our emails or banks or anything else. I wouldn't go to a bank. With this browser right now, but you know, you could save the password now, and it also uh, works for forms. Like you can see, save the entries for phones uh, for forms. You can enable or disable that, and that's the autofill uh, option. And now we can see that the version of uh, of the browser right now is a 13.10122. The um, the 10.122 refers for the bill. And this is the actual version of the uh, of the uh, web browser. So now let's uh, move out of the um, 
of the settings and let me show you the uh, how the uh, new page looks like and this is how it looks like now you can see the uh, search uh, the search uh, address oops it crashed on me let me see if I can recover this okay so this is the uh, the new tab and we can see the search uh, search box right here and now if you can see there is no uh, an address bar but if we you can do the search right here the it will act as a um, at the address bar but you can actually click on this section and it will bring back the um, uh, the uh, the address bar which I like I like this a lot better than Chrome that you have the search box in the middle and then you type and, and it moves the, the whole thing to the uh, top uh, to the top left corner um, I haven't used um, Microsoft Edge too much so I only have one top site and but uh, if I if I went to more sites they will be listed here the most recent and we also have different widgets with uh, feature apps weather and a lot of news information and this is like a infinite scroll thing of uh, all news that it might be interested uh, uh, for me um, so let me see let's let's change how settings and let's only top side so let me close that and now let's open the app and now we can see only that we see the uh, uh, the top sites I can click my my profile and change the account settings and Microsoft account settings or open a new in private window so that's really nice one thing I want to show you is that um now on this bill let me see let me just go to my site and now let me see if uh, that works now you see there's a new animation on the uh, reading view button I don't know if you saw that right there now every time that uh, a website is, is enabled for uh, reading view you will get the animated uh, icon and you can click that and go to and you can read the article on on reading uh, on reading view I honestly don't like this too much because um, it doesn't show our uh, sponsors and you know we worked really hard to get the content to you and that's uh, the uh, the sponsors would uh, help us to to make money and, and keep bringing you uh, a lot of the uh, the content but uh, if you want to read it like that you can read it in any way you like it. alright so um, let me show you ab about flags I don't think there is anything new if there isn't if, if there is something new it, it's just minor but you can go to the um, to about flags and you'll find options experimental options that you can test on Microsoft Edge I think this is accessibility I think this is new but I'm not quite sure I think I think these three sections elements properties media and accessibility those are new uh, to this version of the uh, of the web browser alright so I show you uh, a lot of stuff that uh, it's happening on the start menu tablet mode Cortana Microsoft Edge settings and now let me show you the Microsoft is updating uh, it's um, MSN apps and let me show you the uh, the weather app so this is the uh, the new weather app which is totally different from the previous one this is more like a universal app and it works uh, better I mean it doesn't work better but it also works really nice on on a phone now we get the, um, uh, the temperature of the, uh, your current weather uh, top and center top and center in the middle of the uh, I mean top and center on, on the screen and you can get to your forecast a 24 hour forecast of each each day and then more details uh, we can click the uh, hamburger button and you can access different section maps we can actually go to uh, history uh, his, uh, historical weather let me see what else keep in mind that uh, these apps they're now fully functional so they might crash like you see like I can let me see you can 
we can get the uh, the news and now I've seen this now but um, I think it might we might have seen this uh, we might have this in the past but now we have this uh, layout view for viewing uh, new articles which is uh, really nice uh, pretty similar to what we see on on the uh, MS, on msn.com alright so that's the uh, that's the uh, new weather apps experience and now let's go to the uh, uh, news experience the new news this is the uh, new news we have the uh, we have the hamburger uh, menu button right here we have the uh, the menu with different topics and we can access different sections and like on the uh, weather app has uh, you can click the uh, the article and you can go to those articles we can go to videos too and you can just click and watch the video we also have a search box to search uh, to articles which is nice and we have the back button right there all right so uh, so that's the uh, news apps in uh, app and now let's look at the um, uh, money money app which pretty much they all look the same but the, the, the content is different and you can access uh, different tools you can access to currency and mortgage calculator and world market and that's pretty much it everything besides that everything is the same uh, there's a little bit difference the tiles look different than before now they're white and now we have these uh, tiles right here for the uh, uh, world market, mortgage calculator, currency, and movers. All right. So, uh, sports. Let me see if I can get a sports working. Because, all right. So it got updated. Um, before I tried to do the update, and I didn't update it. Uh, let me see. Yes. I want to see something really quick. No, never mind. All right. So. Now the uh, the sport apps is more streamlined. We have the uh, tiles before were black. Now they they're white, and we don't have we don't have one article, but we have two on the uh, on the main section, and we have different sections that we can go to, and we can go to different sports, NFL, and get more information. We got baseball, baseball, uh, yeah. baseball information, and we can send feedback. And of course, we can open this and, and get the name for the. Uh, so we can go to settings and change the settings. There is not much settings that we can change right now. All right. So um, another change that Microsoft did is uh, on this build, the um, music and video app has uh, the, the ones that were that we used to see on uh, Windows 8.1 have been removed, and the uh, and the um, music preview and video preview has been renamed only to music and video so now we have those those apps let me let me see if I can find them right here so oh never mind eh? let me see what's what's going on with this one okay so that's a leftover from the uh, previous build but now this is the uh, the music app which hasn't been changed, but this is the new the new one. So for a video, it's uh it's the same it's the same thing. All right, so um oh the uh, I can I can show you the um, the value, but uh, let me show you right here. Let me see if I can. Go to devices, and now I forgot to tell you that uh, on settings the um, the slider has changed, and now it looks like this. And when we go to networks, the actual network takes the um, and the color from the uh, uh, Windows color scheme. Um, I think that uh, that's pretty much everything that. Um, Oh yeah, the, uh, there is one more thing that Microsoft is, is changing and does the, uh, the default programs. Let me see, yeah, default 
Uh, that's the old one. Okay, the the uh, the thing with uh, Windows 10 build uh, 10.1.2.2 is that now you uh, you will prompt less times uh, when to change the uh, the default um, options, and you can always go to the uh, to I think it's to on um, settings on settings. Let me see default default app settings. Yes, so you go to system default apps, and then you can come and change the de the default settings. So it will be prompt less time uh, to change the um, the file type to open a particular uh, file and open it with a with a new uh, application. And I almost forgot that we also now have a new. Um, let me see now getting started uh, there's a new insider hub the insider hub app this has been redesigned and now we have we have seen this in the past and on leak builds but now we have this like kind of a, looks like a website looks like a blog and now this is how the insider, lo uh, insider hub looks like we can access to the profiles and we have the version that we're running and announcement and quick links so we can go to announcements and we'll see that now we have my, all the Microsoft uh, uh, announcement no issues being marked right there we have alerts see something's not working Microsoft will let us know right here and we can go to the profile where you can access to achievements Windows feedback quest and device and activity so you uh, you also have a menu right here to access this same uh, places other than that, I think that's pretty much in the big changes that have been happening on this bill. So that's all for this video. I hope this video was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.